Okay, up to this point now, everything we've done has been homogeneous equations where we had all gases, all aqueous solutions. We're now going to talk about heterogeneous equilibrium. That's a case where we involve reactants and products in more than one phase. Okay, the equilibrium of a heterogeneous system is unaffected by the amounts of pure solids or liquids present, as long as some are present. For a reaction to go, I've got to have it there, but it has no effect on equilibrium if there are solids and liquids. The concentration of pure solids and liquids are always considered to be one activity, and we mentioned this earlier in this chapter, and therefore do not appear in equilibrium expression. Solids and pure liquids have no effect on concentration or pressure as long as some is present. It's kind of... If you look at um, a liter of ethanol versus two liters of ethanol, what's the difference in concentration? There is none. It's the same. They're both pure, so it has no effect on concentration. Or if you talk about a solid, what if I have a solid brick in a place and then a liter of water? What's the concentration of that brick in water? Well, it's not dissolved in the water, so there's none. Same effect. Now, we will eventually talk about solids, and there are some, even though we say it's insoluble, there is some solubility there, but we talk more about that as we get to KSP stuff. So here's an example. I got carbon solid plus water liquid gives me carbon monoxide plus hydrogen gas. I can work this problem as a concentration base or I can do it as a partial pressure base. But in both instances, my solids and liquids will not be part of the expression. So if I wanted to write my concentration as a Kc, then it would be written as such. It would be my concentration of CO to the first power, tying my concentration of H2 to the first power divided by 1, because my solids and my liquids are not part of that expression. Or I can do it based on partial pressures. I can say the partial pressure of CO times the partial pressure of H2 divided by 1 again. Once again, solids and liquids are not part of it. You have to realize that if I give you information, sometimes that information is not needed in the, in the problem. You have to be able to to know the concepts and trust your knowledge on the concepts to be able to apply it to the to the problem. If I told you you had six grams of carbon solid in this problem, where would you put it in your calculation? And your answer should be nowhere because it's not part of it. If you look at the expression, nowhere in there is there carbon. So if I told you you had six grams of carbon in this problem, you should just ignore it. And not put it in. Don't find a place to put it. Only put it where it's supposed to be. If I'm dealing with an equilibrium problem here, which is based on concentration, and I'm talking about a solid, then it's not part of the expression. You just eliminate it. Okay? You have to trust your concepts and know the concepts to be able to do things. So you may get information that you don't need for the problem. That doesn't mean use it just because it's there. Homework 17 asks you some questions about some heterogeneous equilibrium.